Hello, everyone. I'm Stephen West. This is Philosophize This. See, Ortega was influenced by the biology of his time. The thinking was that if you wanted to study an organism of any type, you can't just isolate the thing and look at it under a microscope. To fully be able to understand a life form, you got to see how it operates in the environment that it actually survives in. Well, so too, he's going to say, with us as individuals. When he says in the quote from before that I am I and my circumstance, well, we've already established that our subjectivity is unified with the material world. And we've already seen through his perspectivism that we can never see the entire world at once. What we can see, though, to Ortega, is the localized set of circumstances that we exist in. Now, by our circumstances, he's not saying anything philosophically mysterious here. We're all actually very familiar with the kind of stuff he's talking about. Our circumstances provide us with the parameters within which we realize our possibilities in life. Circumstances include, but are not limited to, on one level, physical things like your height, age, eye color, skin color, biological sex. On another level, your circumstances include social factors like your nationality, social status, income level, your education, and within that education, you could have certain cognitive biases that you hold on to, prejudices for certain groups of people, charitability for certain sets of ideas over others, assumptions about the world that limit your field of view. On an even deeper level, your circumstances are historical, meaning that you are living in the wake of a history that came before you, created by other people, that was completely out of your control, but nonetheless is responsible for some of your circumstances. In fact, if you think about it, Many of these things, Ortega would say, are completely out of your control. They were given to you. You inherited them against your will. And a common existentialist way of seeing your life is to think of yourself as an individual thrown into existence, navigating a set of external circumstances that are happening to you. But here's where Ortega takes an interesting turn. He would ask the question, is it so crazy to think of your identity in a way where these circumstances that you find yourself immersed in are actually a part of you? In the sense that they give you the contents of everything you've ever known, cared about, desired, seen, thought, or imagined. In the sense that you can only be understood in reference to the environment that you survive in. In the sense that your very consciousness is constituted by the world that you're perceiving. Is it so crazy to say that in a way, you are the circumstances that you're immersed in? So when Ortega says, I am I in my circumstance, you're not navigating a set of circumstances. You are a part of your circumstances, and they're a part of you. It can start to feel bizarre even imagining a self that exists independent of them. Like, who are you without the circumstances to live in reference to? What kind of opinions and values does your personality gravitate towards when you're floating around in the vacuum of space? 